Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday and welcome to this specialist trading educational presentation where today we're going to talk about a strategy that I've actually been trading for over 45 years now. Now, I often uh, tell my students that I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. And a lot of people think, well, because you were on the floor and you had access to all this information that you must have made tons of money and that you, uh, you know, never lost. And uh, I make no secret about it. My first two years of trading were miserable. I couldn't make a dime. I was doing everything that I was taught and most likely everything that you're taught. You know, look at earnings, look at uh, jobless claims or economic indicators, watch support and resistance, Fibonacci retracements, all of the conventional wisdom, things that are supposed to help you become consistent. And nothing worked over time. And after two years, I really thought I wasn't going to be on the floor much longer. I was lucky enough to have some mentors that changed my way of trading and turned everything around for me. And I'd like to start out with sharing with you what they taught me, because they taught me on the floor of the stock exchange something that has stayed with me for the last four and a half decades. And that is this. The market is always giving you a clue as to which direction it wants to go. Now, it was very hard for me to you know, swallow that concept in the beginning because I always thought that you know, the earnings gave me a clue or uh, the interest rates gave me a clue or whoever was the CEO or whoever was in, in the presidency at that time gave me the clue as to what the market or a particular stock was going to do. But they said, no, not, there's really nothing consistent about those ways of trading. If you learn how to listen to the market and watch the chart right in front of you, it's a lot more consistent and it's giving you clues all the time as to what it wants to do, usually in advance of so-called news and conventional wisdom. For example, as we look at this chart right here in VRTX, this older chart, most traders just looking at this small sample size would say, well, you know, not a lot to tell here, but we're obviously in some kind of a, a downward trend, short-term downtrend or whatever. So I think I'll just kind of wait or maybe I'll short it. But with one of the clues that my mentors taught and that I'm going to teach you today, actually just off this small sample size, you would have known that we we're in an uptrend. And off of the second clue that I'll be teaching you today, you would have known that the buy signal was generated right here. So that ultimately where everyone was avoiding this or thinking you were in a downtrend, you could have potentially captured upwards of 48 points in the next four to five weeks. Now you'll know exactly how to identify these clues today and how they make up one of my uh, most uh, consistent as well as the first strategy I've ever traded. And the best thing about this that I'm gonna be teaching you is that it's one click away on our platform. All these clues, are just one click away on our tabs where you can automatically see how they're being generated. On the PTS Primo charting platform, I developed pro trader strategies with one goal, simply to teach traders how to trade. So welcome to this class. I'm sure it's gonna be a really uh, great and educational one for you. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And this is actually a method that I've been trading and I trade and use every day in my own personal trading that I was taught on the floor. You'll learn actually the first two rules to this method. There's only four rules in this particular strategy. I'm going to give you and I give away entirely the first two of them. Okay. Wouldn't be fair for me to give away all of them for all the people around the world. We have students in over 115 countries and in every state in the United States that have purchased this strategy, but I'll give you the first two uh, strategy rules. So you'll be able to use them and apply them to any method or any technique that you'd like. Now, before we begin, as always, we are required to share this with you, so please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results today and show you a lot of examples using these clues, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And since we are first and foremost an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, if you haven't done so already, feel free to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. Uh, you can copy that down because every day I post uh, numerous examples of strategies or techniques that uh, have been generating signals in any market, futures, currency pairs, um, you know, individual stocks. And so there's lots of great free information as well as little bits of financial wisdom tweeted on a daily basis. So please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, remember, we are a little bit different from other webinars. I often say this because a lot of people come to our webinar saying, well, Steve, you never told me what you think the market's going to do, or you didn't say what the best stock is to buy, or you didn't tell us what you think the perfect time frame is to trade. 
Well, that goes entirely against our philosophy at Specialist Trading. Our goal when we formulated Specialist Trading with ProTrader Strategies roughly about 13 to 15 years ago was simply to educate you, to give you all of the things that have stood the test of time in terms of consistency so that ultimately you can make your own trading decisions. Now, I know a lot of new students always say, well, Steve, why do I have to make my own decisions? Why can't you just do like the other websites and, and give me nightly signals or tell me what you're buying or selling? Well, because that simply doesn't work. Once again, I've been around for 45 years, four and a half decades now. And that was the way I thought you were supposed to be a consistent trader, right? All you had to do was find some guru or some mentor and just mimic what they were doing. But that obviously doesn't work because the entire industry is based on that premise. And it's been estimated that 85% of all traders fail. So ultimately, that doesn't work. Ultimately, you can see that that's not a plan you want to be taking. The only traders I know that are still trading that I used to trade with on the floor are the ones that make their own trading decisions. They don't follow anyone's blog. They don't look at any news. They don't care about the interest rates. They have a plan that they know has been tested and works on, on uh, the markets that they like to trade. And they simply follow the rules. That's what we want to instill in all of you. We want to give you the tools, techniques, and strategies so that you can decide how you want to implement them, where you want to buy, where you want to sell, and where you want to place your stock. You see, as it says here, a good mentor does not trade for you, but he teaches you how to trade with a specialist edge. This is the same edge I was taught four and a half decades ago. It has sustained me for that amount of time, and that's what I want to do with all of my students around the world, okay? Now, before we begin, just a couple of announcements. The most uh, pertinent one that I get from all of my students, the question I get from all of my students is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So each and every one of you will be sent a link to this uh, recording. You can watch it at your leisure uh, after, right after the presentation. Uh, remember, this is a static PowerPoint presentation. I don't have access to live charts. Plus, uh, it, since it's static and just PowerPoint only, please disable all cameras and microphones. Make sure that you don't come on the screen because this is not an interactive presentation. And then lastly, Ask me as many questions as you'd like, but we have a lot of slides here today. I think I have close to 150 slides, so I don't want to stop for every slide. We'll be here far too long, taking too much time out of your Wednesday. So if you have a question, kindly remember it or write it down, and I'll get to it at the very end of class, okay? All right, with all that said, let's begin today's educational presentation, and we're going to start right off, okay? Let's go right into these clues that make up the strategy that I've been trading for 45 years, okay? These are the two clues I talked about at the beginning of the presentation. Remember, the market is always giving you a clue as to what it wants to do. Our job is simply to learn how to identify these, to listen to the market, and then just jump on board. Remember, our job is not to pick the top or pick the bottom. Our, no our job is not to have uh, pinpoint uh, you know, uh, estimates of what the earnings are. Our job is not to figure out what, uh, what economic indicator, indicator is going to come out. That's not our job as a trader. Our job is simply to listen to the market and then jump on board. It's that easy and it's that simple. Okay, speaking of simplicity, let's go on to clue number one. Here it is. Remember we talked to you about finding the overall trend, whereas that first example looked as if it were going lower, but the overall trend was up. Here's how you do that. Apply the 50 period moving average. And if price is above the 50 period moving average, the overall trend is up. Now, conversely, if price is below the 50 period moving average, the overall trend is down. Now, why is that so important? Because at specialist trading, if the overall trend is up, we will never, I repeat, we will never be selling or shorting. Why? Because the odds are in your favor that it wants to continue going up. Now, sure, every once in a while, you may get these fantastic sell-offs where it's above the 50. And some students always contact me and say, Steve, I could have shorted this. I made a ton of money. You're right. That does happen every once in a while. It used to happen to me, too. But over time, if you want to be a consistent trader that just didn't have a good month or maybe a good couple of months, but had a good decade, applying the simple clue, the simple rule will help sustain you. Remember, I don't want to teach you things that will give you a good trade. I want to teach you things that will have you trading 20, 30 years down the road. Let me show you how simple this is. All right, let's look at this generic chart. Most traders looking at this would say, there's no trend. We're going down, back up, back down. But once we apply the 50 period moving average, we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that? Price is above. So what is the market telling me? What's the clue that it's giving me? 
and saying the overall trend is up. And I never want to sell if the overall trend is up. Now, same thing works to the downside. Most traders looking at this would say, Steve, there's nothing to do here. There's absolutely no trend. It's a sideways market. Well, not really, because once you apply the 50 period moving average, you ask yourself, where is price in relation to that 50 period moving average? It's below, right? So therefore, the overall trend is down. It's that simple. All right, so now that we know the overall trend, how do we figure out the short-term trend? Because I know a lot of traders always say, well, Steve, you know, I was always taught that if the if I'm trading daily bars, all right, well, the weekly trend has to be up and then the daily trend has to be up in sync so that I can take a buy signal, right? Well, I'm just here to tell you in 45 years, I personally have found absolutely no consistency in applying that method. I don't use that at all and I don't teach it. Why? Because all it has served to do for me is keep me out of a lot of winning trades because I'm waiting for those two different time frames to line up. So you don't need to overcomplicate things by looking at a daily chart and then a, a hourly chart, looking at a monthly chart and then a weekly chart. I mean, it's silly. I was taught that once again, 45 years ago, and it never worked for me. Now, if you want to use that and you feel it does work, go ahead. But if you're asking me personally, I have never found any consistency in using that. In my opinion, it's an urban myth. Here's how to take advantage of the same concept, though. This is clue number two. You don't have to open up two charts and look at the different time frames and wait for them to line up. All you have to do is look and identify a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. If it does that and you're above the 50, <coughs> excuse me, the market is saying, I want to go higher on the shorter term time frame. That's it. Conversely, when a bar closes in the bottom 25% of its range, the market is saying, I want to go lower. So there's no reason to look at two different time frames. All you have to find out is to see if you're above or below the 50, and then to look for bars that either close in the top or bottom 25%. Now, if you're not familiar with what that looks like, <coughs> excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. Here's an example of a generic chart. Okay, let's say we're above the 50 period moving average, and we see this chart here, this bar chart. It doesn't matter if this is a weekly bar, a monthly bar, or a tick chart. It makes absolutely no difference. But what you want to do is divide by four separate but equal parts. And if you close in that top 25%, what is the market telling you? Not me, not some interest rate estimate, but what is the market giving you a clue as to what it wants to do? It's saying it wants to go higher on the short term. So now you have the short term and the overall in sync with each other. For example, the overall trend is up, right? And here we have a bar that closes in the top 25% and it goes higher. Now, someone said, yeah, but Steve, look at this. I could have shorted and look at, I've missed all this money. <coughs> but what do we have here? The very next bar closes in the top 25% and look how much higher it goes. So yes, you could have shorted. You would have had to be quick on one of these bars. You would have had to begin in and out. But don't you think it's a lot more conducive to just relaxing trading if you just wait for these bars and just take advantage of them rather than being quick and you know trading like a leaf at the mercy of the wind and saying, oh my God, now it's going back up. I got to get out and back in, back out. Just trade the overall trend with the 50 period moving average and look for bars that close in the top 25%. Now, how about this bar? Okay. Closed lower, right? Well, what you want to do is divide by four separate and equal parts. And if you close in that bottom 25%, the market, not me, not some guy in TV, not some blog, the market is giving you a clue saying it wants to go lower on the short term. So therefore, you don't need to have another time frame. If you see a bar like this and price is below the 50, you have the short term and the overall trend in sync with each other. There's no reason to overcomplicate things. As we look here, the overall trend is down. Why? Because we're below the 50. Now we find a bar here that closes in the bottom 25%. And look what happened, okay? See, I didn't have to open up a higher or lower time frame. Don't overcomplicate things. Keep things simple, okay? It's the simple things that I have found in my four decades of trading that work not the overcomplication of things, okay? Remember, it's the easiest thing in the world to overcomplicate trading. Anyone can do that. 
Okay, I can add on more and more indicators, more and more systems, more and more time frames, more and more markets and cross sectors to look at. And anyone can do that. You can be trading for one week. It doesn't take a lot of character to do that. But it takes a lot of character to say, you know what? All these things that I've taught me that aren't working, I've got to just forget about them and strip them away and cast them aside. My mentors call these things useless noise and just focus on what the market's telling me because it's a lot simpler and it's a lot more cut and dry. It's not so uh, 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 discretionary, okay? Now, these two clues that I just taught you that you just know about right now. Well, they make up the preliminary rules to a strategy that I've been trading for over 45 years. These are the first two rules of the method I've been trading. And that method is strategy number four. To give you some of the highlights of this method, it's a pattern recognition strategy. We're looking for a pattern that repeats itself over and over and over again in any market and in any time frame. Now, it was designed for traders looking to catch momentum. So we use this on the floor where I would be getting in and out of a trade in less than two or three minutes, okay? Because we were buying and selling all the time. But we've devised ways now to stay in the trade days, weeks, even months, if you'd like. Now, it only uses one indicator, and that's the 50-period moving average, which I already shared with you, okay? It's that simple. There are a total of four rules to this method. You already have half of them, okay? Once again, I'm sorry, I cannot give you the complete rules. It wouldn't be fair to our students around the world who pay good money for this. But let me just share with you how we took advantage of that first example. Remember, we're looking at VRTX, and most students would say, well, Steve, we're in a downtrend right here, right? I mean, we're going lower, lower lows, lower highs. But what's the first thing we do? We said we were in an uptrend. How did we know that? We applied the 50 period moving average. Now, even though this bar opened below the 50 period and traded below, look where it closed. It closed above. So that's all that matters, as long as you're closing above. Now, as it's heading lower, it's closing above. And look what happened. We closed in the top 25%. So that's rule number two. Now, the remaining rules are looking for that pattern and then an entry technique. But this generated a buy signal because the remaining two rules were confirmed. And look what happened. You could have potentially captured 48 points. Now, remember, we're not saying everyone would have made 48. Some of our students like to get in and out, take a couple point profit and say thank you, move on to the next one. Other ones like to stay in as long as possible. Others like to take, take more of a, a swing trade approach. It's all up to you. As I said earlier in the beginning of this presentation, you have to be in charge. Our goal is to provide you with different ways to enter, different ways to exit, different ways to place your stop placement. We kind of give you a buffet table of different techniques for you to trade, but you know the basic format of what generates a strategy number four signal. After that, you can de decide how you want to implement the trade. That, in my personal opinion, after trading for 45 years, is the only way you can become consistent. Not by going to someone's website every night and finding out what they're doing on their nightly signals or in their chat room. Not by listening to the news or finding out what the guys say after the market closes, but by making your own trading decisions. The good news is that's the service we provide as mentors. Remember, a good mentor does not trade for you. He does not give you signals. He teaches you how to trade so that you can make your own decisions. Now, the advantages of trading strategy four is it's extremely consistent. In fact, I would venture to say it's probably our most consistent method today. Now, consistency does not mean that every trade is a winner. Consistency actually is an awareness that you will have losses from time to time. But that's all right, because a consistent method is one that's able to recoup those losses, often on the very next setup. So don't be afraid if you have a loss every now, now and then here. That I have losses all the time, but I feel confident enough to trade this because I know I can recoup what I just lost because another signal is right around the corner. Also, the beauty of strategy number four is it makes you a part of the process. Remember, we give you the basic foundation with the four rules, but after that, how you decide to enter, how you decide to exit, how you decide to place your stop is all entirely up to you. Okay, two traders can trade the same signal and get entirely different results. One trader can make a couple of points. Another trader can make 20 points. Another trader can break even. It all depends on how you want to implement it. It's all based on the same setup, though. 
but it's designed to be as simple as possible. I don't want you to think that, wow, well, this seems kind of complicated. Remember, it's simple. Those first two rules show you how simple trading can be if you only learn to listen to the market. All right, so let's share with you some recent examples, and I'll share with you the process you go through while you're trading this strategy number four on our platform. Remember, we developed the platform, Pro Trader Strategies and myself, so that it could teach you how to trade and it keeps things as simple as possible. All right, so let's look at some recent buy examples first, okay? We're only gonna look at buys and then we'll look at some sales. And we'll start off by looking at stocks and then we'll venture into other markets. We know that not everyone just trades stocks. So we'll look at some futures, we'll look at some uh, currency pairs even, we'll look at some cryptos, okay? All right, so let's start off with buy examples. Here's the first one. This one was in uh, TXN, Texas, Texas Instruments, all right? This was coming into August. This was just about a week or so ago. Where is price? Price is above the 50. Now, even though we had a sell here and it closed below, we don't have a signal being generated yet. Now, someone could say, but Steve, this closed in the top 25%. Sure it did, but it didn't meet the remaining requirements of the strategy, so a buy signal was not generated. And that's good because it didn't go up after that. But look what happened here. We closed below the 50, just one bar, and then right back up again. And we closed in the top 25% of the range. So we think that there's a buy signal generated. We've studied the rules. We've gone through the course. We think there's a buy. So here's the process. What you want to do is click on, on our platform, strategy number four, click on signal arrows in the drop-down menu, just to see if you were correct in properly identifying. And guess what? You're right. So now for the first time in your trading career, you're learning how to make your own trading decision. You see these up and down arrows are meant as a guide, as a learning tool. I want to get all of my students to the point where you can just look at a chart and you won't need to look at up and down arrows. You'll know that that's a strategy number four buy or a strategy number four sell signal. But up until you get to that point, the platform is meant to be an educational tool so you can check your work. And in the next week, the stock went up 50 uh, 15 points. That was coming into last week, okay? Here's an example in Apple, all right? This was in mid-July, coming into August. Once again, we're kind of hovering prices above, below, but remember, look at all the closes. All the closes are above the 50, so the overall trend is up, okay? Now, we're looking for bars that close in the top 25%. Now, some of these meet the rules, some don't. So we check our work because we think we've seen a buy signal maybe even more than one buy signal. Click on signal arrows. Guess what? There's two right here, okay? This is what we call a mini cluster of buy signals. You could have taken either one. This was in mid-July about a month ago, 20 points to the upside. Now you see, all of this is done without looking at any news, without complicating and saying, well, gosh, I got to figure out, are these good earnings or is that bad news? Or what do I think about what's going on in the market? What's going on with the world? Uh, you know, got to figure out all these things. You know, somebody says we're in a recession or someone else says that, uh, you know, the market's okay. So there's a lot of things to filter out. You see how we overcomplicate things? You don't have to do that once you just learn how to listen to the market because the market's telling you and giving you clues all the time as to what it wants to do. Only trouble is we're never trained to listen to the market. We're always trained to listen to some guy on TV or we're trained to listen to some guy in some chat room. You don't have to do that anymore once you become a student of mine. It's a lot simpler. All right, VRSN, even though price is headed lower, it's above the 50. So the overall trend is up. We're not gonna look to short. We have a buy signal right here, closing in the top 25% above the 50. The remaining two rules are met and we had a nice little gain here, okay? Now, look what happens after that. Price starts to sell off. You say to yourself, oh gosh, this isn't working. I've given back a good portion of my profit. I better sell. But what do we have? We're still above the 50. Now, sure, you can sell if you want to, to take a little bit of gain, but another buy signal was generated here. So if you didn't take profit in the first nice little run, maybe you want to double up and buy some more because potentially you could have captured 20 points altogether. It's up to you. Some of our students like to take a signal like this and get out somewhere around here. And then another one comes and get out somewhere around here. That's fine. Other ones just like to buy all the way up. There's nothing wrong with either style. What's important is that you are deciding, not me, not some guy on TV. You're deciding. Here's an example in Amazon, okay? Last week, above the 50, price is heading lower. And all of a sudden, we have one bar where we're closing the top 25%. The remaining rules of the method are met. 
up 22 points coming into last week. Now, obviously, some good news came out where it caused it to gap up like this. Isn't it funny how two days in advance of that, we generated a buy signal? Why? Because the market was giving you a clue in advance as to what it wanted to do. You see, what most traders do is they'll see this news and say, oh, my goodness, that's good news. I got to buy here. And sure, it went up a little more after that. But wouldn't you rather have bought down here? All right, here's an example why most traders fail just simply because the way we're taught. And most of the time we're taught uh, the wrong things. Like I said, I was taught the same things that probably most of you are trading on. And I use those same exact things that most of you are basing your decision on 45 years ago. And remember, it didn't work for me 45 years ago. So why would you want to continue using these things that really have no levels of consistency? For example, we're making lower lows and lower highs. So most traders would say, we're in a downtrend. I don't want to buy this. Remember, what's the first clue? We apply the 50 period moving average. And where is price in relation to that? Price is above. So we are not in a downtrend. The overall trend is up. Now we wanna find and make sure that this short-term trend is up. So we wanna find a, a bar that closes in the top 25%. And what do we have right here? We close in the top 25%. And it meets the remaining rules of the strategy. Strategy four. So a buy signal was generated. And in three days, the stock went up 32 points. Okay. This is why most students fail because you're taught faulty methods saying, well, this is going lower. You don't want to buy this or it doesn't look too good. Whereas the market, if you learned how to listen to it, was screaming, please buy me. I want to go higher. All right. Let's look at Moderna. All right. Same thing. We're looking at price that is basically headed lower but we close in the top 25%, we're above the 50. Those are the two rules I taught you today. And the remaining two rules are met. And as we see coming into August, we had another signal the very next day. So if you missed this one, you could have taken advantage of this one. And last week, the stock was up 40 points in one week. Now here's what we have, or what we call a cluster, okay? Because we have a cluster of signals being generated and nothing has happened yet. We had two buy signals, one up a little, but then went back down and not enough to get you stopped out. If you're, if you're using a very tight stop, maybe you broke even, but then you're met with a cluster of more signals. This is actually a very positive sign when you see this and nothing has happened yet. So this happened in uh, CDNS cadence design. This was in mid-July coming into this month, August, 35 points coming into this month. And as we look at SMPS, okay, this is a, a great example of the process and how it works here. Another little mini cluster, even though we opened and traded below the 50, the closes were above. So this is still valid in terms of the strategy rules being met. And the stock went up 70 points coming into this last week. Now, let's look at some recent sell examples, okay? Because I, you know, if we go into a sustained downward move, you can take advantage of this strategy just as well going to the downside. For example, most traders would look at this and say, Steve, we're in an uptrend. You know, that guy in that chat room I go to, he says, you got to buy this. So I bought it right here. And even though it's kind of stalled, it looks like it's going to make brand new highs. I love it. And uh, everyone bought this in the chat room and I'm buying it too, okay? Because they must be right, okay? Sound familiar? I know a lot of you have done that in the past, follow some so-called guru, right? But what do we do? As students of mine, the first thing I teach my students is to find out the overall trend. In order to do that, you have to apply the 50 period moving average. Now that we've applied it, now we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that? It's below. So we're not in an uptrend. The overall trend is down. This is a short-term bounce in an overall downtrend. Now we want to find out what the short-term trend is. And we want to find bars that close in the bottom 25%. What do we have right here? Here's a bar that closed in the bottom 25%. So we think there's a sell signal here. Let's check our work, okay? Let's see if we're on the road to learning how to make our own decisions. Open up the drop down menu, click on signal arrows, and guess what? We are right. So, for the first time in our trading career, we're learning how to make our own trading decisions. Now you can decide okay, how do I want to enter? Do I want to place it at the basic 
format entry? Do I want to use upwards of five or six different entry points because we have five or six different ways to enter, five or six different ways to place a stop, and five to seven ways to exit? So you can choose from that buffet table of how you want to trade, okay? Either way, you had another choice on the next bar because we closed below, we're in the bottom 25%. You had two choices to enter before PayX went down 11 points, okay? What happened to the uptrend? What happened to buying when everyone in that chat room was buying, right? This is why most traders fail. You're following someone or something else and not listening to what the market is telling you. Here's an example in NXPI. All right, we're below the 50 right here. We have a bar closing at the bottom 25%. The remaining rules of the strategy have been met. Stock fell 14 points in the next four days. All right, here's a more aggressive style of trading, not really for the beginning traders because most traders get confused. They say, well, Steve, we're below and then we close above here. We even closed above here, but then we went right back down. So how can this be a sell signal? Well, it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, in this advanced way of trading, you need anywhere from three to five closes either above or below to tell you that the trend has changed. So right here, the overall trend was down. We had three below, but we only had two closes above. So that's not really enough to tell us. So right here, you could have taken advantage of this sell signal in KLAC and taken advantage of the 45 points that happened in the down uh, to the downside in the next four days. Okay, once again, most traders will get caught in this little bounce here thinking that it's a rally, but it's a short-term uh, bounce in an overall downtrend. The ne very next bar generates a sell signal, 50 points coming into this month on the downside, okay? Now, lastly, let's go over the process once again. Most traders looking at this chart would say, well, Steve, I think we're breaking out to the upside. Looks like we're kind of just kind of going sideways here to down. And then all of a sudden this bar is up, closing the top 25%, just the way you say. So I think I want to be a buyer here, right? Even though we went lower, maybe I'll buy a little lower at a limit. I'll use one of your different entry points. Either way here, this is following your rules. You said top 25%, right? Yes, but that's only if you are above the 50 so let's apply the 50 period moving average, all right? Where is price in relation? It's below, so this does not apply. We are looking for bars that close in the bottom 25%. Now, what do we have here? Here's a bar that closed in the bottom 25%. But if you're a student of the strategy four course, you would have known that the remaining two rules were not met. So this is not a valid signal, but we're not gonna use this to go short. But that's okay, when price went higher, we have another bar that closes in the bottom 25%. So now we have the overall and the short-term trend are in sync. And after studying the course rules, you say to yourself, you know what? The uh, remaining rules have been met. So this is a valid signal. Let me check my work, click on strategy four on our platform, on our educational platform, in the drop-down menu, click on signal arrows, and you're right. Once again, for the very first time in your trading career, you are learning how to properly identify a setup for yourself. You don't have to wait for some guy after the market closes to find out what he likes. You don't have to go to a trading room or chat room. You don't have to subscribe to some signal service. You don't have to read some nightly blog. You're doing it on your own. Now you decide how you want to enter. Now you decide if you want to actually short the stock or buy puts. It's up to you if you want to do a spread. That's your decision. Either way, it would have been the right one to go short because we see this stock fell 90 points in just one week based on everything I've shared with you, okay? All right, let's look quickly at some different markets and some different time frames. okay? Here's an example in uh, Bitcoin, all right? This cryptos. Same process applies. It doesn't matter if we change markets. Makes no difference. This, this pattern repeats itself over and over again. We're below the 50. We close in the bottom 25%, 15,000 points to the downside. We move to a five-minute chart of AMD, okay? We have a little mini cluster of buy signals here. Seven points in just three hours, okay? The market is always giving you clues as to what it wants to do, regardless of time frame, regardless of direction. Here is a weekly chart of uh, ZS, okay? We are below the 50. 
We have a, a bar that closes in the bottom 25%, but it doesn't meet the rules. We have another one closing in the bottom 25%, and it does. On this weekly time frame. you could have avoided or taken advantage of shorting and had a hundred possible 100 point gain to the downside, okay? And then lastly, for all you currency pair traders here, here's a four hour chart of the Swiss franc, just going back to last month, okay? July coming into August, all right? When price was above the 50, look at all the buy signals that were generated. Had you taken the first couple of buy signals, you potentially could have captured 275 pips. Now, when the market reversed and changed directions, look what happened. It went below the 50, and now we started generating sell signals, and you could have potentially captured 230 pips, okay? So we're looking at over 500 pips in just one month. Now, obviously, if you would have made 500 pips, you would have had to buy at the bottom and sell at the very high or sell here and cover at the very low. We're not saying that everyone's going to do that. So let's say you only made half. Let's say you only made 250 pips, okay? That's over $2,500 just trading one unit. Would you be happy with that? But let's say you bought right here and sold halfway up. Let's say you shorted right here and covered halfway down. So there's still a lot to be captured. It's up to you to decide how you want to do it. Okay, let's recap before we go to questions and answers. Remember, Always apply the 50 period moving average, regardless of time frame, regardless of market. And then ask yourself, where is price in relation to that? If price is above the 50, the overall trend is up. If price is below, the overall trend is down. Why is this important? Because if the overall trend is up, we're only going to be a buyer. We will never, I repeat, we will never short if price is above the 50. Why? Because over time, you will be more consistent using this simple rule. Conversely, you will never buy if price is below the 50. If you don't believe me how powerful this rule is, go back and check your last 10 to 20 trades. I can almost guarantee you that the reason why you had some losers was because you were buying below the 50 and you were selling above the 50, okay? Now, secondly, you wanna apply the top bottom 25% clue. What does that mean? That means if price is above the 50, you wanna look for bars that close in the top 25% of their range. Conversely, if price is below the 50, you want to identify bars that are in the bottom 25% of their range. Why? Because this is telling you the short-term trend. There is absolutely no reason to look at a higher time frame or a lower time frame. All you have to do is apply the 50 and the top bottom 25% rule. That's it. It's that simple. Do not overcomplicate your trading. There's absolutely no reason. I know we've always been taught that the more complicated things are, the more valid they are and the more successful they are, right? I was taught the same thing. But it's been my experience in the last 45 years that it's the opposite that's true. It's the simple things that have more validity. You know, if you have some type of strategy that's based on 20, 30 rules that you have no idea what they're made of, you know, that's not going to ensure that you're going to be a consistent, successful trader. It's been my experience that the traders that have lasted this long time, 20, 30, 40 years, often have trading plans with maybe three, four, five rules tops, maybe one indicator, that's it. Keep things simple. Now, these very first two clues uh, make up the very first two rules of strategy number four, a strategy that I've been trading for over 45 years. Now, in our course, we teach you all the rules because we want you to identify them on your own. That's our goal. And the way to do that is by using our educational tool. That's the PTS Primo Charting Platform I developed with ProTrader Strategies that actually teaches you how to trade. Now, as we close here, remember, the platform will show you exactly where these signals are. So as we close, ask yourself, strategy number four can be applied to any market, any time frame, and any direction. So if it can do that, do you think this can help your trading for the remainder of 2022? Okay. If you've struggled for the first part of the year, do you think this strategy can help your trading for the remainder of the year? I think your answer is yes. So because of that, we have a special offer for all of you attending today. Here's our most consistent strategy offer. Strategy number four, you're going to get a great discount. You're going to get the entire course rules, detailed instruction. We're going to teach you all of the different ways, the multiple ways to enter, the multiple ways to exit, and the multiple ways to place your stop so that you can choose and decide for yourself 
how you want to trade. Remember, if you're a more conservative trader, you'll want to apply conservative exits, conservative stop placement, conservative entries. If you're a more aggressive trader, you want to enter more aggressively. You want to exit more aggressively and place more aggressive stops, okay? You'll get the automatic buy and sell arrows that you can apply and upload onto your platform. Complete course rules apply to any market, any time frame. Now, I know on this graphic here, it says stock strategy, but we use this graphic when we first started uh, teaching this to our students. And after years, we found out that it can be applied to any market in any time frame, just the same way I showed you just a few minutes ago, okay? Now, here's one of the best things about our platform. Remember, our platform offers you not just strategy four, but it also gives you a host of different things that I've accumulated and taken from the floor. Things like enhanced buy sell line features, a strength of trend tool, a signal scanner, auto-generated exit levels, over 90 of the most prominent technical indicators, including personalized tech support. And there are literally dozens more things I just can't go into right now. They're just so uh, great that will help enhance your trading and that are great and that are right there on the platform. Now, here's one of the best things I think on the platform. It's one of our exit techniques. These are auto-generated exit levels. Remember, we teach you upwards of seven different exit techniques. This is one of them that's auto-generated on the platform. For example, looking at this older example in EA, we had a cluster of sell signals, right? Now, if you didn't know, or if you chose this one particular exit method, or if you didn't know where to exit and you said, I'm really not sure, here's a great way to do that. On our platform, click on strategy four once again, and remember where you were clicking on signal arrows to help you identify them. Now, just scroll down and look and click on range extension exit. This is one of the techniques we teach you. And this will automatically generate these range extension exit levels. Now, let's say you felt this was going to go down to level number four. You would place a limit to cover your short right here. This is where you would exit the trade. And a quick 15 points in a couple of weeks. And here's the beauty of this technique is oftentimes when it gets down to the extreme level, the trend changes. So you're getting in at very low levels and covering your short. Same thing with going long and exiting towards the high. Here's a weekly chart of PSA. We had two buy signals generated. Let's say you didn't know where you wanted exit. Let's say you want to use the auto-generated exit levels on the platform. Once again, they could be generated automatically on the platform. You want to pick the higher one right here. Place your limit. You have a nice 60-point gain. And look what happened right after that. These are a great way to get initiated into trading with strategy number four or any of our methods that we have on the platform using our auto-generated exit levels. Okay, so let's break this down. What is this exact offer? Well, normally, if you just purchase strategy number four, the complete course rules and manual, it would cost you close to $700. Now, that includes the scanner included with the PTS Primo charting platform that would cost you close to $1,200, okay? So if we threw in the platform along with strategy number four, individually, you'll pay altogether close to $1,900. Here's the offer we have for you today. We're going to just charge you for the strategy. We're going to throw in a full year free of the platform. So you're only going to have to pay $695. You're going to save over $1,100. <coughs> Excuse me. That's an over 60% discount. That's a great, great offer. A full free year of the platform, auto generated with these exit levels, auto generated with the up and down arrows, and a host of dozen different techniques and methods that I didn't go into today. And you're going to get all the complete rules and the course manual to strategy number four. This is a great, great way to get initiated and to turn your trading around. Take charge of your trading for the very first time. Learn how to make your own trading decisions with this great strategy that I continue to trade on a daily basis and my own trading on a daily basis. So here's how to take advantage of this. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They're in charge of all the pricing, all the discounts, all the tech support. I would highly recommend calling them at 310-598-6677. They have trading consultants operating the phones right now. They would be happy to take your order or just simply to uh, answer any questions that you may have about the platform, about strategy number four. Or if you see the link that, that's posted at the very bottom right there, you can copy and paste this. And this will take you to the info page. And so you can have many more of your questions answered. Now, that's not a live link but a live link has just been posted on the chat box. So if you go to the chat box, open that up, you'll see that there's a live link posted there and you can click that on so you don't have to copy and paste this on your browser, okay? Now, 
<clears throat> I'm gonna leave this information up here. We have a few uh, minutes left. Uh, remember, you can ask, ask me any question you'd like, go to the question and answer or the chat box, whatever you'd like, and I will answer them. I see in the question and answers, there's a question. Uh, oh, here's a great student of ours, uh, Eric. It says, I use strategy number four and the 50 period simple moving average every day and continue to be impressed with them. But concerning the top 25%, I'm curious if there is an added special meaning for candles that close in the top 25 because, but have a shaved top candle, having no wick in the top 25%. In other words, we close in the top and there's no, there's no uh, candle or there's no wick at all. It's, you're very much getting the top of the uh, full range. Does this type of candle indicate a less, a little less probability for a higher price move? Or is there another or different special meaning with this type of candle with no wick on top? <clears throat> That's a great question. I personally have found absolutely no difference at all, whether there is a wick or not. As I just shared with you uh, multiple examples, some of them closed at the very top with no wick at all, and some had, you know, 25% or so with the wick. So it really doesn't make a difference in my observation. Now, remember, we're not a systematic company, Eric, so we have not done any, you know, very detailed systematic research on this. Uh, so this is just once again off of my observation. But uh, it, it's entirely up to you. Uh, I personally trade either one, okay? I will take that close with actually no wick, and I will take some that close with wick. It really makes no difference. All that I'm concerned is with them closing in the top 25% for this particular method, okay? But that's a good question, because I've seen actually no difference in trading them with the two different styles, okay? Uh, if you do some research and you find that there is some correlation, then feel free to tell us, okay? Eric is a great student of ours, and uh, he's been uh, trading for a while with our methods. Um, that's a good question, okay? Uh, any more? Someone's asking about correspondence. Yes, correspondence means that you get access to my personal email. Uh, we're not like other websites where everything is just, you know, uh, in a manual or just basically sent out to you, and then that's the last you hear of them. Uh, you have my personal email address that comes directly to me. It doesn't go to an intern or to an assistant. So if you have a question, uh, I will see it uh, the minute you send it, and I will try to answer it as quickly as possible. So that's how you uh, stay in touch with us. I don't want you to feel like we give you the information and say, good luck. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Uh, no, we're, we're there with you every step of the way, okay? I was answering emails from students this morning and continue to answer on a daily basis, all right? Uh, let me see, any more questions? Someone was asking if we uh, trade other markets. Yes, I don't know if you came in later or asked this question before, but yes, I showed you examples for a five-minute time frame. I showed you weekly uh, markets. I showed you uh, cryptocurrencies. I also shared with you a four-hour chart of the Swiss franc that was uh, rather current. So yes, it does not matter. As I said earlier, strategy four can be applied to any market and any time frame. Now, someone is asking, are there any tips and techniques and filters to help with signals? Because uh, you know, there's always ways to improve. And let me just give you this one clue. In the beginning, while you are learning strategy number four, I always tell beginning students, try to take uh, signals that are close to and or touching the 50 period moving average. Oftentimes, students have reported back to us that many times you'll get a strategy number four signal that's far away from the 50 period moving average. But as it descends and goes down lower, that's the one that will work better. So in the beginning, to keep your losses to a minimum, try to take signals that are close to and touching the 50 period moving average, okay? Secondly, another clue is, if you're getting a buy signal, this is one thing that may aid you. Look for the 50 period, the slope of the 50 period moving average to have a nice upward slope. In other words, you don't want to have a flat slope to the 50 period moving average. Even though you may have a very profitable signal with a flat slope, in the beginning, try to look for slopes that have a strong upward slant. Okay. Same thing with a sell signal, a strong downward slant. This is just sharing with you. Uh, the market telling you this strong momentum, either to the upside or to the downside. Those are two clues that you can start using as early as today, okay? Okay, great questions. Any more while we still have us here? If we don't, I just want to say I hope you learned uh, a little bit about this great strategy that I continue to apply on a daily basis, strategy number four. It was the first strategy my mentors taught me. I continue to use, and I actually shared with you 
two of the rules of this particular method. You can apply these rules to your current strategy, and I can almost guarantee you that they will really increase your odds for consistency just by applying the 50 period moving average and by looking for bars that close in the top or bottom 25% of their range, okay? Okay, if there are no further questions, remember, I would strongly suggest if you are interested in the very least, just give ProTrader Strategies a call. Call them directly at area code 310-598-6677. They can answer questions concerning uh, anything that you want to learn about the strategy, anything that you're interested in about the uh, platform, or anything about price. Maybe you want to include another strategy. They're very flexible. They'd be very happy to give you a quote and to work with you, okay? There's absolutely no obligation they're there to work with you. Remember, that link you see at the very bottom of the screen is not a live link, but a live link has been posted in the chat box. It will take you to the info page and share with you what is, act, is exactly offered in this great discount. But remember, if you're interested at all, take advantage of this because I believe it will be expired by the end of the week, okay? Uh, someone is saying, just wanted to say that the tweets on Twitter are very helpful. Thank you very much. I want them to help you because they're more free education on a daily basis. I hope they are, okay? Great, thank you so much. Now, as we take one last look at our disclaimer, I just wanna thank you for taking time out of your Wednesday to come join me today and, and listen to me speak. But I wish all of you the best of success and I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the strategy number four course. Have a great day trading and have a great week. Hope to see you in class. Bye-bye.